this is a nasty virus and it's not just like the flu. I don't care what people say. It's not like the flu. For those that did get it and only had flu-like symptoms, they're so lucky and that's awesome for them. But for some of us, we have long-term effects. My long-term effects aren't even anything compared to some of the others that I've heard about. I haven't met them, but I've heard about their, their long-term effects that are awful, just horrible. So I consider myself actually very lucky. Mm, yeah, we were tested on March 13th and we received our results the very next day, the 14th, that we were positive. I was scared to tell people that I had it. Um, I was scared people would find out that I had it. And I was scared that I would give it to someone. So I just didn't go anywhere. I didn't have much of an idea of what was going on out in the real world. I'd see on like at the internet that the grocery stores were empty and that no one was leaving their houses and it was a really scary time. And knowing I had it, I was doubly scared because I just, I didn't want to risk anyone else. Um, it started off with really bad headache, I think, and fatigue was the beginning. And then the fever kicked in and that would, it was a very strange fever. It would come and go. So you'd start to feel better. Fever was down, but then just a few hours later, you'd start to feel crummy again. Take, I'd take my temperature fever was back up so and then I'd say probably four days in I lost my sense of taste and smell and I have not fully recovered either uh, I think young people who depend on their social life it is everything to them I think they're sick of not being able to go out and visit with their friends and go have a beer at the pub um, and so a lot of people are just like well for, screw it I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do um, I can understand their mindset, but at the same time, this isn't gonna last forever. And we have to do our part right now to try and keep everyone safe.